Today I'm going to try to fix something with my hammer shots. Uh, I have two of them that I've removed the AR systems out of, and what's left is that little thing down in there. And yeah, it keeps it from popping this. Oh boy, there they go. It keeps it from popping this part off. But this slams into it really hard, and it sounds like it's going to break all the time. Um. I really like these and I don't want it to break. So I keep finding these little rubber pieces at work. They are, they go onto a little piece of metal that holds on bags for ice. And uh, well, I had a thought that maybe that would fit right in there. And look at that, it does. I did this trick with my kids BASRR, gave it a plunger pad because you have to dry fire it every time you empty the mag just to unload the damn magazine. So uh, it worked great. It actually gave it a significant FPS pump up too. So I'm hoping it's going to do that with this. But really I just wanted to not break itself. So yeah, I'm going to epoxy that under there and shove this crap back together. The only real mods that are done with this hammer shot are the uh, poster removed and it's got a homemade spacer with the stock spring and lots of lube. All right, epoxy time. All right, so we got the plunger head all padded up now. The epoxy is nice and dry. And it's, uh, yeah, it's on there. Yep. All right, time to put it back together. Time lapse. the one with the plunger pad on it. Um, to be honest, it shoots the same as this one. Anyway, here we go. biggest difference would be the sound it makes when I dry fire it on accident without pad <clears throat> with pad 